And I think um, it's one of those things that is so obvious and everyone knows it's, knows it's the right way to do business, but yet business is business and, and things get complicated. And that's where a lot of companies stumble. And Steve was just incredibly good because he could do things by the sheer force of will and keep people in line and keep people focused. Meaning what? He would shut down projects that he thought were <clears throat> extemporaneous. He would focus on things that he thought were the next big thing. Yeah, you could look at uh, when he returned to Apple, he not only killed most of the product line, they were making over 20 things at the time, and he cut it down to four. And most people thought he was crazy. Uh, yeah. And a lot of people don't realize that internally, Apple had dozens of projects going on, and he killed all of those. So there were a lot of people running around Apple at that time worried about their jobs for one thing. And, um, you know, it was all part of giving everybody the focus. So everyone at Apple would know what the company stood for and every customer would know what Apple stands for. Right. When you look at the future of Apple now and the big, I mean, I'm rooting for them, but I, my great worry is that the, they're still a great hardware company, but they never done software except for the operating system as well as everybody else and as the farther you get into some of this deep learning stuff and the data mining that Google and others are doing and the fact that Apple has taken this uh, position on privacy that it, there becomes a tipping point that it becomes much harder for them to actually compete on the actual software product. Do you, mm -hmm. you think that's a real problem? I think there is a perception based <clears throat> partially on reality that uh, software has become more of an issue for Apple. I'm not sure that I wouldn't say that they never did software well because I think that was always part of the allure that they did hardware and software and the two meshed very beautifully. But as the company has grown, as the product lines have grown and the software has become more sophisticated, things happen. That was the right. most yeah. complicated thesis I've ever heard for, for, for instead what? of keeping, they're a gadget maker. That's all you got to, you know, it's in terms of keeping it simple, it was, right. I mean, I listen, I think, I, so the privacy, Ways into not being able to develop software and therefore, you know what I'm saying though. He's telling you to keep it simple. Keep it simple. The, nothing grows to the to the sky. No, it's that, not even. It's not. So even you that. finally no, turn bearish on it, Apple based no, no, on no, I'm what? Not bearish. It's it's. I want them to succeed. I'm worried. My I know, worry. I want them to succeed. No, too, my worry is that they have always actually been. A dare I say a, fa a gadget maker and a fast follower. Well, Meaning well, they never. Let me try and keep it. The, I'm going to go back to, to, to a simple. And so you have all these other companies that are now. Leaping ahead on the Can I just the, say, the, I would just want to ask Ken. Ken sure. So, you knew J Steve Jobs, he kept it simple. What would Apple do right now if Tim Cook could channel, and, and that's a hard thing to do, and no one's asking him to do it, but let's say, you know, you could talk to Steve Jobs' ghost. What would he tell the, the Tim Cook to do right now to keep it simple and to take Apple into the next five years? What, what would you do? A car, a TV, a, a what? There was a long time I thought a TV was coming, and that kind of didn't happen. Um, I do think the car is a, a very good next place for Apple to go. It's one of those places that you couldn't imagine them going for such a, you know, when you first heard it, because it seemed like someplace they've just never been. They, they don't know anything about that kind of stuff. But then you stop and think that that's what they did with music players and phones and iPads and all that stuff. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.